What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. That's Mike. I'm Chris. What up, Mike? What up? The Terror. That's terror. what's up. Come and get me, Mikey. Come and get me, bro. Terror episode nine. Episode nine, bro. Um, I'm just going to call you bro all, all evening. Yeah, man. Uh, d uh, What did you think of this this uh this piece? This... <laughs> This piece was fucking super creepy. Don't I let it read. Don't let it I used that adjective a lot when I people, talked about people, the show. People, people, people. It, it was very intense of an episode. And one really cool thing that has been occurring quite a bit in these last handful of episodes is the fact that we're seeing Yuko enter uh, multiple bodies multiple characters yeah, she a bitch. uh in these episodes multiple times she's a crazy bitch which i think is really cool because it's interesting to see how each actor kind of portrays when she's in them and how yeah. i just like how each character kind of has their own way of yeah, of it. doing that so yeah super creepy another another crazy one um i i really felt for chester and um, lose in this one again, especially with the baby being delivered in, in such it, a place. Dude, and, it's so crazy because she's like, she's yeah. having another baby. And it's like, I mean. Look at what's going on in there. Literally lives, to us, she's like, she, to, to, like, to me, I'm like, she just had twins. I but I mean, that's, it was, but that's a long time now. We're talking maybe yeah. a year. No. Yeah. Longer than that. Wasn't, wasn't I he mean, gone for uh, a couple of years? Yeah. I think they were and from the beginning of going to the place to when they left. I think it was like three years, so somewhere in between a year, year and somewhere a half. Somewhere another one, like yeah. Okay, happened. but he's he's been away for a while. Yeah. Henry's all pissed yeah. at him, and the mom still misses him, and so they all get to leave. And it's like, I really thought, real quick, let's just talk about uh, Amy. And I I really thought that he was going to get up again. Yeah, well, once you and saw like the blood show and up coming and, out of the ear, it's kind of. I thought he was going to get up, and she's just like, "I'm out of here," and they all leave. Oh, and I, you know, they took the sponsors and, 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 mm -hmm. you know, Henry, you know, he, he doesn't know what he's doing. And he's like, oh, hey, you know, the guy that's sponsoring him, the businessman, whoever it was, is like, oh, I have a place for you. And no, no, they, he's too fucking proud. He's proud. Yeah. So you're going to live in, in the, in the fucking slums, like, and Skid Row. Skid Row. LA. Like, fuck, man. I was like, all right, dude, like, whatever. But, yeah, but the fact that they come home expecting to have their boat. Remember well, how I was like, dude, it's been three like years. Flattened. What do you think? Of course that shit was going to be yeah, gone. I know. Who was paying the bills while you were guys? Like, of gone? course I mean, that shit was going to be gone. I, I, I mean, a Get part of, of me here. was hoping that they were going to turn. That nah, I knew, man. I knew they were, that shit was going to be gone. I'm, I tend to I tend to lean yeah, so, to, so, to that side. Listen, two questions. All yeah. right. One is, what did you think about how they, how they had, the, you know... Their little idea to let people in and out of the house, and they, dude. I mean, it was smart. That's messed I mean, the up, house, man. It was like, it was like a. Uh, a they fortified, yeah, dude, exactly. They... Dude, I was like, shit, man. They they're not joking around. Like they, yeah, yeah. they, yeah. You know, and then they, you know, that little nursery rhyme. But the thing is, <laughs> they didn't. Okay, so so they didn't. They weren't aware that Yuko. Half the half the reason she goes into somebody. Or possesses somebody they, is to get the knowledge. So doy, yeah. so doy. Like to me, I was like, yeah. obviously that's that's you know, yeah. Um, and uh, you know, so of course he comes in. He's like, and it's yeah. I mean, you knew that you knew that shit was gonna happen. But yeah, dude, what did you think about his plan? The plan to to <sighs> move around from place well, to place gonna... and raise the kid <laughs> like that. Well, I know you're not a fan of that. And no. I know Henry uh, Henry Nakayama's not a fan of that too, because he says, uh, "What do you want to do? You're gonna, you know, outrun the demon." You know, they're having this heart to heart, and they're talking about like, "What was you, you know, if you would have listened to me, my advice would have been." He said, "Leave her alone. Leave this, leave this poor girl alone." He ain't you wrong. Know? Henry he's, ain't he's, wrong. Henry's not. Henry's not wrong, but. Luz and Chester are both to blame for whatever potential um, um, harm can can look. Yeah, they you know for the baby they decided because to have both, the kid. I guess I mean listen, they did they did for a long time think that they she was married. gone, right? Yeah. So they have that, but still, as a viewer, we knew that. Um, yeah, we knew other things. Yeah, you know the pro I think part of the problem is the, is these these time jumps. Mm -hmm. They affect us. 
in that, you know, to us, it's like, well, the last scene, it was this, and this scene, now it's 10 years later, or whatever, whatever yeah, you know, yeah, like a yeah, year, yeah. month, two months later, three months later. So, yeah, nine months later. Like, yeah, so to us, him getting to New Mexico with her, then them getting married, then then having a baby, like, that's obviously, like, a year later. Mm-hmm. You know, mm-hmm. nine to 12 months later, and it's like, but for us, it's been, like, two episodes, and yeah. and and within two episodes. So, so to me, it's like, yeah, so we, again... It's a, it, it's feeling a bit rushed because the lead up led us to here, but now things are all happening in like the last three or four episodes. I mean, you know, so and they got it, they got to finish it out and whatever. So I think, you know, it is what it is. It did that. I don't think I think that plan was dumb. Take it to a dirty ass dungeon to have the baby. Like, I mean, what else are you gonna do? I get it, you know. But I just thought it's like whatever. But however, it still led for some you know, interesting stuff. Like the the show isn't the show doesn't uh suffer in providing creepiness, you know? Oh no way. In creepy no locations. Way. What did you think about when the bell was going off? Oh, I totally thought it was Yuko. And and I mean listen uh, did a- you I thought I knew I knew. I'm like I look I look I look to my wife, I'm like Yeah. I'm like, it's a rat. She's like, What? Yeah. I'm like, it's a rat. Because once you heard it continually going, I'm like, that's a rat. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I was thinking maybe she was trying to lure him out, like mm-hmm. the rat did. But and you know, not for nothing. Here's the other thing too. I get it. <laughs> it's like I I can't tell if this was done on purpose or just because mm. it was the location they had. But that entrance was so far away. Like if you weren't listening for that tiny little bell, you wouldn't yeah. have heard that. She's sitting there having the baby screaming and yelling, and things are moving around, and all, and you heard that tick 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 like. I'm yeah. like, all right, you know, so, but again, it, you know, I, I, I'll benefit of the doubt be like, that's the, they figured that was the, 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 the safest place for them that they could, that they could access in that whole bunker situation. But, yeah, well, like you said, they didn't, they have no idea what Yuko's capable of, uh, capable of as, uh, as far as gaining the knowledge of the people that she entered. So I'm assuming the brother, whoever that was, I think that was maybe Lou's brother that they, stayed behind. No, they, they no, no, not a brother. It was a cousin. The, it was a cousin. Is that what it was? Yeah. All right. So from you know from from them escaping from the priest that Yuko entered, uh, they must have gotten into. She must have gotten into that his brain somehow. I, th- exactly I think it's just silly is. how they think that she that that they could actually outrun her. They haven't yet because they don't know. They don't know that she can. Get, gain the information. Well, besides that, but, but so they, as long as but, no one but was they still them? haven't yet. Like so, but, what and what did they do, Mikey? What did they even do after after she took, um, uh, you know, Jiro? What 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 did they even do to prevent her? Nothing. They just assumed she was gone. Like, but they didn't. Obviously, they prepared. They tried to prepare. They said she was hiding out. I mean, yeah. by Lou's saying in the last episode is she wants my baby. Sets up all that. Well, you know, what? what um, tell me what you think about Chester's Chester's ultimate plan to kill himself and give her and give himself back to. Well, I mean, <laughs> it's uh, I, it's it's a it's a it's a, it's it's a selfless, selfless idea. Act, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, is, you know, it, it obviously wasn't going to work. And I'm glad that Chester didn't off himself to do that. But not for nothing. Um it was it was cool how we were talking about with with even last review about like the image and that he hands the father the picture of him as a young baby and that would fulfill the thing. So I thought that was interesting. Obviously, I didn't want Chester to be to to take himself out and to commit suicide like that, but it would have been what their family's trait tends to be, right? By committing suicide. I mean, you know, so yeah, I, I, yeah. I was I wasn't. Um, I wouldn't have been surprised if he did it, but I, I really. I mean, not uh, not an what, right, not an think. unsound idea. I mean, it's. I mean, he had a point. It's the only way to stop her. His mm-hmm. it, as long as he knows that his his wife and and child are safe and taken care of by yeah. their family, their, his and hers. You know, mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not going to fault him for it. I mean, he was probably after everything he's been through, he's just probably like tired and like, I just, I got her back. I lost her. I lost my boys. I lost her, got her back, mm-hmm. got another kid. I, I got to make it so they stay alive. Like, you know, I, I get it. I get it. I get it. 
you know, yeah. because you just, you just, you just, and, and, and I'm not going to fault them for it, uh, you know, it, and it's a, it's a, you know, yeah. Um, although we know that doesn't happen. And now comes creepy shit where the fucking, the demon's just bouncing around. Dude, she's like, why isn't my baby crying? And I'm like, it's in the baby. The fucking yeah. thing is in the baby. Jesus Christ. Yeah. And it's looking at the mom and All like, right. shit. I was like, and then fucking, you know, uh, his mother, Asako, um, or, or Asako, I, I, I'm sorry if I'm butchering how to say her name, but, uh, you know, she, she's just like, oh, shit, it's in the baby. And the grandmother's like, what? <laughs> That's yeah. The baby. And, and it's, yeah, it was, it was. So and then the baby like, cries and you're like, it's yeah. out of the baby. It's out of yeah. the baby. Where is yeah, it? That's yeah. That's it's the, in the that's mom. We... <laughs> oh god, dude, it was nuts. It's yeah, scary. no, it was. I mean, I said it before. The way she's just jumping in and out of all these different characters is really cool. It, it, I mean, it's intense. Uh, I said that many times too. So it's a. I mean, listen, dude, it's a great show. And and how about the bombshell that Asako um, yells that we that we learn? Um, really, yeah. initially, we, we we're kind of clued in on she that, mentioned that it, it last episode i think she well, said she was she on said the bridge in the episode. beginning of the episode when she was dropping like the lotus flowers no but last the... episode i think i think she might have said something or maybe i saw it in the coming attraction no i don't no, know no. she had said it on the bridge um that it, it's her fault and us as the viewer didn't know what it was until the end no no no. but, but she... i meant prior i meant prior i think i oh, watched i oh. think it was either on the coming attractions or i thought she maybe. said it last episode yeah, like maybe. That she but said for, it oh it's my fault anyway yeah man but put so, that bombshell out there about but, um, Yuko being perfect, and she kind of just wanted to, um, I guess, feel that perfection. By, did you? But did you? Did you think it was going to go the opposite way? That she was going to like that? That did you feel like she was nah, nah. trying to appeal to Yuko's, or just trying to deflect? Because at the end, she's just it's like, and I do it again, yeah, it and I'll do it all the time, bitch. Well, she made the change quick, right? From from sounding sympathetic or empathetic to she ended up hating um, her. Yeah, I'll do it again. Yeah, uh, bitch. I think it's it's something that obviously she's been carrying the whole. She's been carrying with her this information for fifty. Uh, how you know she has to be carrying this for a long time, and and not only that, but just even even Henry and her both carrying the the bombshell about Chester himself and who oh, yeah. his real parents are is yeah. something that. Both um, Asako and, and Henry had to have lived with for a long time, so it was. Um, I mean, it was. A, these actors are great, dude. Oh, I really again, I really you know, enjoy some of the it. listen, some of the plots a little. It's I, yeah, I, I it's, liked it. I mean, it's you mentioned before be about like this, about about you feel like a little rushed or the tempo of it. I didn't feel that. I think the only thing that I can agree that you were kind of not negative, but some things that you. Thought mm-hmm. weren't the best part of the show was with the twin thing initially when we first got the twin thing. Like, where this throw uh, f- come from? So I think that was probably my yeah, biggest. Yeah, it was a little like, ham Yeah, it was, was it? a little. It was a little rough. It was but a little since, rough. Dude, little rough, since then but... I don't. I didn't necessarily think. I think it's going at a, at a really good pace, an interesting pace. Well, it's fast. It's, it's definitely a fat. That's the thing, dude. It's a definitely it's faster, it's a faster pace like in a way because it was I mean, very uh, slow. The the yeah. the bell curve on this was just like it's very steep and it's like. It wasn't something that I felt it was a negative part of. No, this. you know what? It is what it is. Look, I, I just one more. Or it's less. making me want more. more that's less. the problem. Yeah, one that's more. That's the problem. It's only one left, but that's the problem. I want more. Yeah. You yeah. know, I like I like where they have taken it, and I want more. It's sick. It's crazy. I mean, yeah. I read. You know, I I read reviews after the fact. I read these reviews from from a couple of different sites, and you know, the show. You know. You got some reviewers slamming the show, being like, ah, it's not even that scary, and the whole twin thing, and then all of a sudden, it's this, uh, oh, he can go in the picture, and then he can't go in the picture, and, you know, they're making fun of, you know, Derek Mio's, uh, you know, acting, and and he's convulsing, and it was stupid, and, oh, and it got him in the picture and stuff, and it's like... You know, I, to- I totally disagree. I think he's good. I mean, I think Luz is very good too. I think even the, I mean the parents are fantastic, and George Takei is great. I really enjoy. I really the ca- enjoy right, the show. yeah. The ca- the cast really is great. Do. I I you know and you know and to speak yeah. to those those comments, it's like, you know, I was a little yeah. concerned with the with the melding of the of the magic of the realm. <laughs> you know, there was one thing that that I will say in a couple of the articles I read, and they said that. The magic of the of you know the the whatever you want to call it the death magic of 
the uh, 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 the Mexican death magic with the Japanese you know demonic lore how they fit so perfectly together that the fact that he can go back into the picture but she can also go into the realm and you know what I mean it's I, I get it I get it mm-hmm. but whatever it's yeah. it's just whatever man it's a story it's a storybook story it's it's a, yeah. it's a horror story just let it whatever it's it's fine it happened it's magic yeah. it's demons it's the same shit whatever it's a realm of the dead it's fine um but yeah so you know i hey. you know and at the very end she's in she takes over loose and you know I, what what the fuck you know i don't i don't know what's going to happen but now what does she got to do she's got to find a grave She's got to. She's, she's, she's got to. Yeah, she's got to. Got to throw herself into a grave. Remember yeah. what she did the last time. Oh, yeah, and not to mention that realm. Mm. That realm. We got to see Jiro again. I know, which I feel for this kid. And, so, and Henry. So I mean, and Chester feels really. We're not. We're not forgetting that. They, no. they don't want us to forget that. That's a thing. No. Because he asked for Ta- he asked for Taizo. Remember, he saw him. Yeah. And they spoke. And well, they she's saying Taizo's coming and... back, but it's really his son. Yeah, she's just so gonna it's, replace it's, it. Uh, it's very yeah. weird. It's it's she's just the whole thing. The whole thing is creepy and it's weird. And mm-hmm. you know, I saw one of the last comments we got on the previous video was you know, oh, you know, I hope I hope they can let. Um, and, and I'm sorry if I forget uh, who, who wrote it, but you know who you are. Um, saying that you know they're thinking that you know maybe they can uh, redeem Yuko and get her to rest and 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 destroy that realm and and get and get her to rest in peace and. Um, you know, I was thinking I about know. it. I don't know, I don't man. Know, man. I don't, I don't know, know if that's a possibility. Right? I don't know. I, I, I honestly, yeah, Mike, I can't see where this is going to go. Like, I don't know if there's going to be a, a happy way ending that she to can, this. That, that Chester can get to her, uh, just like the mother tried, Asako tried. I don't think that, but that's the thing. That, right? That's not going to happen. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, I don't think so. Either. That's not a thing that that's not a thing that's going to ha- it's they're going to have to destroy mm-hmm. I I think maybe I'm I'm thinking maybe let mm. me throw a little something out there for everybody as we wrap this up. I think maybe perhaps mm. Jiro is the one Remember how she di- how she killed her ancestor and yeah. then it became hers? I'm thinking maybe maybe like she now. gets maybe she gets uh uh what what what, what were they going to call him Enrique what were they going to call him Oh that was one of the twins Oh we don't know what and, they're going to uh, yeah I don't know I don't we didn't we haven't even had time for them so, to even worry so about that kind of we're stuff We're going to call it baby Henry it's baby, baby Henry <laughs> Enrique Um maybe she does get the new Taizo back to the realm but Jiro does something pushes her into the sand or or something and is able to get his spirit back in his body like the baby spirit and then maybe i guess i guess my whole point is i guess my whole point is maybe jiro possibly jiro could be the savior of of everything maybe i mean that's my that's my theory i'll throw it out there why not that's my theory we'll see what happens you know oh oh uh a bomb the atom bomb Big yeah, boy, we'll mention we items. gotta mention to that. I don't think at Big this point boy. it was dropped. I think that drunk guy was like, "Oh, we're celebrating. We're, did we want?" He's like, "Not yet, but we're about to. Whatever. We're gonna drop Big Boy." Yeah, you know. So yeah, so there, there. So that's that's gonna be a thing. Um, I for one would like to see. Maybe the bomb has something to do with disrupting. I mean, um, her bones are here, or, though. You know, her you know, bones are I here, mean, though. So, but what my thing is, supernatural things aside, I I would, I, I'm interested to see how Japanese Americans, like, you don't think, I mean, don't you think that they're going to show that response? You know, because they made a big thing. Hey, you're you're being released from these camps, so uh, make sure you show your American pride and yeah, and yeah, whatever. Peace. And it's like. Yeah. Fucking man, America, you it suck. It's you fucking it's suck, crazy. man. You suck. It's it's really crazy. Yeah. But you know it's what I mean. Like that's their that, home right? country. Like they have family back there still. Mm-hmm. And you know we drop this fucking bomb, and it's like, you know, I don't know. I just I just think I just think it'd be a little after everything that 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 we've seen and everything that's been done. I think it'd be remiss if they didn't show some some of their re- at least the characters that we follow. You know, see their reaction to having their home. 
land fucking well, we'll see. decimated, you know? You know, we'll see what, what the resolution is if if the resolution comes before that. Yeah. If if Yuko's destroyed and Henry... And, and right, Chester where is it going to fit? Yeah. Is it going to fit so, in? Like, because, oh, we're dealing with this... The spirit has taken over my wife and my child. They're not oh worry shit! About but the fucking bomb, you know, yeah. Where it's being I think it's interesting. You know I just I mean? fucking think it's an interesting thing. Yeah, you no. Know? It's so a, I'm looking I mean, for. Listen, dude. I think that your your theory obviously is um, it's definitely uh, thought out enough for you know to to yeah. uh, for me to to think that it's a possibility. Yeah. I can definitely see uh, Euro um, coming to the rescue. He's gonna have to. He's, he doesn't know the truth. He doesn't know what's going on. He doesn't know that he saw his brother. Right. You know, well, he's, he feels brother. it. He feels it's wrong. Just yeah, like Yuko so, felt it's wrong. He feels it's wrong as well. And I think, yeah. you know. So and I don't remember, know. So we'll see. Remember, remember when, uh, in, uh, I was in this episode too, but when, when Euro wakes up and he looks at the bassinet, he knows, and she's saying that's for Taizo, but he sees Taizo as a 30-year-old, you know, right, 25-year-old yeah, yeah, man. Right, yeah, yeah, So this there's there's a lot of conflict i'm sure going through this this kid's brain and yeah, hell yeah. and what's with the fly that's always that's buzzing around him well i think i think well that happened you know, with yuko too when yeah, she was there so i think that's just it's it's it's, it's that a imperfection sign of death or something yes to show you death. that you're not you're not in this this Perfect. paradise yeah, you're in you're yeah I think something that's like just this pesky thing, yeah. fly can just bother pestilence, you pestilence you, you know what i mean with... it's that you know it's it's yeah, it's, uh, yeah. it's uh, all right I can go with that. Yeah. I can go with that. Yeah. Um, All right. So uh, let's let's, let's end more. this. We're about yeah. 20 minutes in. Let's end this. Guys, you know what to do. Let us right. know, please, what you think. Uh, yeah, in the comment there. section. We love to hear that stuff. Yeah. Uh Third person on all these social media outlets. We always post some cool stuff up there. Um, check out Retro Squat because on Instagram also because Chris posted some. Um, oh yeah, my other channel. It's uh, do you even eighties, uh, bro? We we changed the we changed oh, that's the, right, that's the right, tag. Yeah, yeah, but we uh, see a lot. We talked about the Comic Con a little bit in the in, in the in the previous you know, Walking, Walking Dead, Dead uh, review. I uh, check out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you even eighties, bro? I you know I went to Comic Con. I'm sure you guys know we talked about it a billion times. And uh, yeah, so that you know there's some there's some cool stuff check up that, there. Some cool stuff there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we've got interviews. We've got other shows on here. Guys, you, you know what it is. Thanks for watching. We appreciate yep. it. We love it. Tell people yep. about it, about our channel if you want. Hey, if you guys want us to watch a show, let us know. Let us know. You know? Oh, and, and at the, you know, just a little, you know, kind of what, what we're doing, um, what we're watching. I just want to give another a shout out to a couple things. I'm uh, watching, I watched Euphoria on HBO, Mikey. I saw a little bit of it. I'm not not into it. I I wasn't at first. Like I didn't think I would be, and then I watched it. It's a fucked up show, but it's really good. Um, really, really well done. Um, yeah. And I'm watching Raising Dion on Netflix, which is yeah. a superhero type of thing. Wait, I think I heard about that. Really cool, man. It's a very interesting story. This little boy something, has powers yeah, he has and powers, his, and no one knows or something. Well, his mom something. finds out. Yeah, but he's trying to control it, and like she's trying to help him yeah. figure it okay, out, and. Then. Jason Ritter's in it, and and Michael B. Jordan, and it's a great, really cool show, really cool show. Yeah, Check it out. A buddy That's of fun. mine from work told me about that. Yeah, it's like, fun. It's a good yeah. show. Uh, Batwoman, Batwoman pilot aired. We're back. We we got Supergirl. We got Flash. We got the the Crisis on Infinite Earths uh, crossover is coming. I'm so freaking psyched. Smallville's back. Uh, Erica Durant's Tom Welling. They're gonna be back. There's gonna be Randon Ralph playing Kingdom Come Superman. Like, dude. I'm super psyched for this stuff. If you guys are into that stuff and you want us to talk about it, let it, let me know. I'll talk about that shit. I don't even I don't even care. Erica Durant was the one that played like Lois um, Lane. Yeah, she was. Ugh, I loved her back then yeah. too. Don't, don't don't mistake it for Kristen Crook who played Lana Lang. No, I know. I never got I never got that. I remember when yeah. that show was on. Why um, she was Lois and, and Lana and all this kind of stuff. Right, yeah. I just thought there were uh, super attractive females. And I used to like oh, me some a, Erica Durant, oh so my I'd God. be interested Great to show. see what she looks like. I love, I love, dude. I, I, Smallville is one of my absolute yes, favorite, we know. favorite. We know. So, so anyway, yeah. So I'm, I'm super psyched for that. I just, I can't freaking wait. I'm actually reading. I'm actually going back. I'm reading the Infinite Crisis comics right now, and I'm finishing season ten of Smallville. I never actually finished season ten of Smallville. Sorry, I know. I'm actually wow. finishing that right now. Then I'm gonna go read season eleven comic book. They did a season eleven, Mikey, but only in the crazy. comic book. Oh, I gotta do it all before December eighth. I do it all before December eighth, man. This is like, yeah. this, is, this is what I do. Um, all right, that's it. Thank you, everybody. We love you. Uh, one more episode of the Terror Infamy coming up, and yes, we'll see excited. you then. So we'll see you tonight. Bye. Nice.